is Charles Ives, which is plural for Charles Ives. <laughs> but, uh, they wanted to do some acting lately, so I tried out for this part in a cartoon, but I didn't get the part because I'm a real person. <laughs> It might not be a cartoon, but I'm still good. <laughs> I have a computer, but I don't have McAfee virus protection. I don't use any protection because when I surf the web, I want to feel it. Kind of like wearing a raincoat when you take a shower. <laughs> Not for me. I think my computer's pregnant. It's only two years old. <laughs> Which I think is quite remarkable because in computer years, that's like a hundred. It's real slow. And I found a bingo card next to it the other day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what a hundred year old people do, I guess. I don't know, I don't know, man. Between that and shuffleboard, I just don't have any time as a hundred year old. Hmm. It'd be kind of weird if uh, they made computers out of cheetahs. It'd be kind of crazy. You go into Best Buy, and then the computer section, there's just a bunch of cages full of cheetahs. <laughs> And you walk in there and you're like, I'll take that one, it looks pretty fast. And you get it home and you put the big cage with the cheetah in it on your desk. And when you turn it on, it goes, Because you just stuck its tail in an electrical outlet. And maybe that's not how you turn on a cheetah computer. Maybe not. Um, when God does ask him, do you think he sees himself? Or maybe he sees me. And he's like, oh man, Charles, where am I? I'm like, relax, man, you're everywhere, dude. <clears throat> what are you late for something? Because you're already there. Don't worry about it. That's the cool thing about being God is you're never late to anything. I think the only thing God was ever late for was coming back. And I don't think it's going to happen. But who knows? I kind of imagine him being like a procrastinator. He's like, yeah, I can go back today. I just don't feel like it. I feel like hanging out around the house, just doing something relaxing, like smiting some adulterers. It's really easy stuff. Mm. Mm. But if God, God wanted to do drugs, why wouldn't he? Like, who's he going to get in trouble with, really? Like, what, what is he, like, really hard on himself? He's like, you've got to stop this! What about your future? You've got so much potential! What about college? God doesn't need college. He already knows everything. <laughs> doesn't he? Uh -huh. Maybe I was wrong about that. He's a pretty smart guy. But I also kind of imagine like God trying to get in the mood to make a creature and he like maybe maybe he like takes a whole handful of Xanax he's like, ooh, I want to make something really slow. <laughs> he's like, I think I'll, I think I'll make a snail. But because it's so slow, I'm going to give him a shell to protect him. <laughs> and I... I don't know about that, because I've never been, like, walking along, and I took a step, and I was like, ow! What was that? It was so hard. It felt like a hard rock. Oh, man, that's a snail. Oh, that was hard. No, it's like, crunch. <laughs> and when they do it, I feel bad, because I'm like, oh, sorry, little buddy. Not only did I just kill you, but you just lost all the equity in your home. <laughs> <laughs> 